Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly lesson of physics. In this one, I'm solving the specimen paper one that is for the exam 2023. Each, each MCQ for each question, there can be an explanation for 10, 12 minutes, but we're going to solve it uh, the fastest possible way. Starting off with the first one. A small uh, cylinder is rolled along a ruler and complete, completes two full turns as shown in figure in as shown in the diagram what is the circumference of the cylinder now the thing is if it's completing two full terms turns that means it is completing a total distance of two circumference two times of the circumference so where do we start from we start uh, the reading it starts from 1.4 all right and the reading ends at 10.2 so what you have to do is subtract these two you get the reading for two full turns you divide the answer by two then you will be getting the circumference of the cylinder all right and the answer in this situation will turn out 4.4 all right just simply need to hit it on the calculator Question number two we have which diagram shows the vector addition of four newton force and three newton force. So let's say this is a starting point. This is a starting point. Then you walk over here. And the second force is upward. Then the resultant ve vector has to be from the starting point towards the end point. So the direction should have been this. And in the option B the direction is incorrect. And likewise, you see there is problem in each and every other option also. For example, in option C, first you start from, if the first vector is over here, then the second vector has to be placed after the first one. After or at the end of the first one. Likewise, if you have 4 Newton over here, then the second one, and if the second vector is downward, then it should have been placed something like this. So the only uh, reasonable option is A. And uh, by the way, now we are required to solve only perpendicular vectors, add or find the resultant of perpendicular vectors. So you can get used to a situation like this, right? First one probably like this, second one like this, then the third one, the resultant vector has to be from the starting point towards the end point. Question number three, we need to find the distance traveled in the first four seconds. Speed time graph is given, we find the area of it. It is a triangle, finding the area of triangle, the uh, fastest way is just take half of one of these two values, half of six would be three, then multiply three by four, you get 12. So basically, uh, we are applying the formula 1 over 2 base into height. Question number 4. An astronaut travels to Mars. Which row describes how his mass and his weight compares with their size on Earth? Mass always remains the same. This is a fact we study in paper 2, paper 1. Mass remains the same. And weight is different because it depends on the value of g so option would be c then we have number five question number five we need to find the largest resultant force the resultant force acting on the first one is 10 newton towards the right uh, on the second one is 10 newton towards the right on the third one is uh, 30 minus 10 it would be 20 newton towards the left and in the last one d 15 newton towards the left which one has the largest resultant c opposite forces are subtracted forces in the same direction are added that is a rule a tractor pulls a trailer at constant speed um, means forward and backward force would be same the force would be balanced what is the force exerted by the trailer on the tractor so forward would be replaced with backward but the magnitude of force would be same. So for that one, B would be the right answer. 
a skydiver is falling at terminal velocity. Terminal velocity means you can think about it as constant velocity when the acceleration is zero. We should describe the acceleration of the skydiver and the velocity of the skydiver. So velocity terminal means constant velocity, all right? So zero and zero, these two would be discarded. And if the velocity is constant means there is no acceleration because acceleration itself is uh, the change in velocity. So it would be option C. Moving on to the next one. Uh, which car experiences a resultant force that is not zero? Moving in a straight line at constant speed, forces would be balanced, resultant force would be zero. Up the hill at constant speed, in a straight line at constant speed, force would be zero, so it would be option B. Um, B is the right answer, a car moving around a bend at constant speed. Even if an object is moving at a constant speed, but if it moves in a circle, or in a curved path, there is a force acting on it that is called centripetal force. So the resultant force is there whenever it moves in a circular path or around a corner. Uh, a car is designed to be stable. Where must the center of gravity of the car be? As slow as possible. All right. The lower the center of gravity, the lower the center of mass, the more stable the vehicle would be. All right. This is. They ask you this one in paper two also. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, the diagram shows a block being pulled by a ramp, pulled up a ramp by a force, by a rope. Uh, the block has weight and stuff like that. What is the equation for the work done on the block by the rope? So by the rope, the force that is uh, being applied by the rope is F and the formula for work done is F into D. What is the force that is being applied by the rope? It is force F. And what is the distance that is being covered in that path, in the direction of the force? It is the distance in this direction. So that would be the distance PR. So F into PR. Force F times the distance PR. All right, moving on to the next one, which uses a renewable energy source, uh, geothermal is, uh, which uses a non-renewable energy source. Geothermal heating system is renewable, solar is renewable, wind is renewable, nuclear power station uses non-renewable energy source. All right, so uh, by the way, nuclear is a little bit of controversial. Uh, what the narrative is that the nuclear energy is renewable but the source that is used for the nuclear energy is non-renewable but in O levels in IGCSC uh, nuclear energy it falls as non-renewable or right, which expression gives the efficiency of an, el an alternating current generator. It generates electrical energy, so the useful output is electrical divided by the total input. Very first answer is the right one. Uh, which height is a measure of atmospheric pressure? It is from the surface of the mercury till the height of the mercury column, so it is C. Number 14. A gas is, uh, is in a sealed container of constant volume. The gas is heated and the pressure of the gas on the walls of the container increases. How do the particles of the gas cause this increase in pressure? When the gas is contained in the container and the pressure on the walls of the container increases, so the answer has to be in terms of the wall, they hit the container walls more frequently. Right? They hit each other more frequently. That could have been an answer, but they, they're asking the pressure of the gas on the walls increases. Number 15, a person cannot open a glass jar which, is, which has a metal lid 
after the metal it is held under the hot water for a few seconds the uh, jar opens easily so the only possible reason is the lid would have expanded once it had expanded uh, it could have opened easily so the metal lid expands or the glass jar contracts but the thing is the lid is being placed under the hot water so it there would be expansion all right had the question been that the glass jar is placed in ice then a would have been the right answer anyway moving on to the next one 16 the more energetic particles escape from the surface of the liquid which term describes this process fact evaporation then we have the next one the depth of the sea okay this and that the depth of the sea beneath the ship is 600 meters and the time measured is 0.80 second what is the wavelength of this sound in the sea for these kind of questions we use we to combine two equations one of them is v equals to f times lambda the other one is uh, speed equals to distance over time what distance because this one makes use of the echo first you have to send the signal then it has to uh, return back over there so you can use two times of distance the equation would be uh, v equals to f times lambda and the other one would be speed equals to two times of distance over time then you combine these two it would be f times lambda equals to two times distance over time all right and 0 0.80 uh, 0 0.80 seconds it is a time for the uh, wave to go to the seabed and then to get back so it is covering a distance twice the depth of the seabed so frequency how much is the frequency 3000 right 3000 what is the wavelength x it needs to be found out two what is the distance 600 divided by what is the time 0 0.80 and this 3000 would switch over here or you can just solve it on the calculator hit it on the calculator from here your answer for this one would be 0 0.50 this one just hit it on the calculator you'll be getting the answer okay moving on to the next one light is in uh, incident on a mirror and is reflected as shown what is the angle of incidence and what is the angle of reflection this is the incident ray this is the reflected ray the total angle is 180 out of 180 80 is here what are we left with this angle would be left with uh, 100 so on the left side would we'll be having 50 50 on the right side since these two angles have to be equal so a bit of mathematics there you'll be left with angle of incidence 50 angle of refraction 50. an object is placed in the in front of the lens okay which point p or q is the principal focus and what type of image is formed image is virtual first of all because the rays are not intersecting on the right side all right had the rays been intersecting on the right side of the lens, the image would have been real. So, real image discarded. What point they are intersecting? Well, what we can do is we can extend the top ray backward. And let's see where does that pass from. It passes through the point B. So, this point is the principal focus all right for a con uh, for a convex lens the principal focus is the right side where this ray would have met the principal axis but for the con uh, diverging lens it's on the left side all right moving on to the next one question number 20 which distance is wavelength of the wave the compressed regions these are called compressions 
these are the compressions and the distance between any two consecutive compressions or the rear fractions is called wavelength in this situation so this is a rear fraction this is a rear fraction this is a rear fraction this is a compression this is a compression this is a compression in that situation we have B as the right answer because B is the only option that represents the distance between any two consecutive rear fractions or any two consecutive compressions anyway moving on to the next one question number 21 how the strength of the magnetic field around the electromagnet is increased uh, remove the metal core if you remove the metal core it would actually decrease the strength of the magnetic field matter of fact the only reason for placing the metal core is to increase the strength of the magnetic field so you remove it it would be counterproductive reverse the DC supply and decrease the current you decrease the current the strength of the magnetic field would be decreased reverse the DC supply and increase the current so basically increase the current is a thing which increases the strength of the magnetic field reversing the DC supply would just reverse the direction but we have we don't have any limit that the direction has not to be reversed uh, which material can a permanent magnet be made from soft iron this is a fact-based question you gotta memorize it as it is which uh, material can you make a permanent magnet with it is steel steel for a permanent magnet for a temporary magnet we have soft iron uh, which diagram shows the distribution of charge on the wall so this is a positively charged rod and the right side of the metallic uh, uh, the right side of the ball would be getting the opposite charge negative over here and positive on the other side because it will stay neutral overall it would be having equal number of charge but the unlike charge would be developed on the near side so D would be the right answer uh, moving on to the next one current needs to be found, found out the formula is Q over T uh, charge is 45 the time is 3 minutes that is 180 seconds you hit it on the calculator you get 0 0.25 time has to be in seconds and that's it that's the only trick here uh, a wire of length that much cross section area has resistance uh, okay another wire has same material uh, length of 2 meters means the length they have increased okay from 0 0.5 to they have increased the length to 2 and the cross-sectional area has been reduced so the length has been increased four times and the cross-sectional area has been reduced four times uh, has been reduced to one half you double the length the resistance is doubled you have the cross-sectional area the resistance is halved because of the resistance is doubled the formula is R is proportional to L over A then we have a constant that is called resistivity all right but here you you can just call it a constant so you have changed the length four times you have changed the area of cross-section reduced it to half this two would be shifted in the numerator there will be total of 8k L over A this is the value of resistance actual resistance and that is now a factor of 8 so whatever the actual resistance was it would be multiplied by 8 so you hit it on the calculator 0 0.75 times sorry, 0.75 times 8 that will be 6 what is this uh, what electrical symbol represents a fuse B light emitting diode fuse uh, motor AC motor uh, electrical motor and the last one is filament lamp three identical resistors are joined in series to a battery okay the voltmeter reads 8 volt 
voltmeter Q reads 8 volt alright so identical resistors and both of them are connected in series then you get 8 volt means on single one you have 4 volts what is the EMF of the battery all three of them are connected in series with respect to one another so the EMF of the battery would be the sum of all these three resistors that will be 12 volt from the battery so you you can discard option A you can discard option C the uh, voltmeter reading on the P would be 4 volts and the EMF would be 12 volts EMF is given resistance is given how much energy is transferred from the battery in 30 seconds energy equals to power into time for power the most suitable formula in this situation is V square over R times time so 9 divided by 6 into 30 minutes into 60 uh, to convert into seconds then you get 10 here 9 times 300 would be 27 9 3 that 27 followed by two zeros 28 joules all right well we are like I said there is uh, there can be a detailed uh, discussion on a single question we, we are just trying it uh, trying to solve it as fast as we can what is the unit of energy used by the electrical appliance kilowatt hour when you multiply the power with time then it is converted into energy so kilowatt is the unit of power time is uh, hour is the unit of time so kilowatt hour would be the unit of energy uh, 30 a magnet oscillates vertically okay uh, when this emf is zero where could the lower end of the magnet be at r so you need to predict the position of the lower end of the magnet for the induced emf to be zero all right so the induced emf could be zero if the magnet is too far all right in that case the change in magnetic field inside the magnet would be zero and if it is at the position r in that case also the change in magnetic the magnetic field lines would have reached to the maximum limit let's say 10 and at the position r it would remain 10 there would be no further change in the magnetic field lines in the magnetic flux linkage so the option is at p or at r uh, which one represents arrangement produces an output emf that is larger than the input transformer uses AC current so A and C discarded for larger output you would need more number of turns as the output so B is the only suitable option uh, moving on to the next one why is a relay used in a switching circuit that's the definition of a relay we use to control a large current using a small current so C is the right answer a horizontal beam of electron passes between two poles of a magnet in which direction the beam is reflected the middle finger has to be on the left side for the left hand rule the middle finger has to be on the left side since the electrons are moving on the right side the middle finger has to be opposite to the direction of motion of electrons had there uh, had there been alpha particles or possibly charged particles then the middle finger would have been to whatever side the particles are moving uh, the magnetic field is downward so the forefinger should be downward and if you apply the left hand rule in that situation your thumb would be po pointing out of the page how many neutrons are in one neutral atom of krypton isotope 8436 krypton 3684 we read from uh, bottom to top you subtract these two you get the number of neutrons when in th what it this situation would be 48 how is the neutral atom nitrogen n714 is different to a neutral atom of carbon c14 nitrogen has an extra proton than the carbon atom its atomic 
number is one more than the atomic number of the carbon. Carbon has six protons, nitrogen has seven. Uh, radioactive isotopes emit three types of radiation. We have to arrange them order of their ionizing effect from greatest to least. The heaviest one have the highest ionizing effect. This one has lower ionizing effect and the gamma one has the least ionizing effect. So alpha, then beta, then gamma. By the way, alpha particles, they have the uh, greatest ionizing effect but lowest penetrating power. Uh, this one is basically the definition of half-life. It is the time taken for the number of nu nuclei to have not the nucleon number because if you reduce the nucleon number uh, then the substance would change itself it means your carbon is now changed to something else to nitrogen to hydrogen something else so the number of nuclei would be reduced to half it is the change in uh, it is the decrease in the amount all right if you change the nucleon number so you're actually changing the sample itself then we have the next one, light travels uh, from sun to earth at a speed. This one, the time for the complete journey is 500. What is the average orbital speed of earth in its orbit around the sun? Okay, for this one, uh, we can use the formula for the orbital speed, which is 2 pi r divided by t formula for orbital speed equals to 2 pi r divided by t to as it is pi you can write as it is on the calculator uh, the radius that is the distance oh, you uh, the radius here represents the distance between the earth and the sun you can calculate from these two values distance equals to speed into time this is the speed this is the time you get the distance from here 3.0 whatever you get you can hit it on the calculator this is the distance you divide it by the time that the earth takes to complete one orbit around the sun that is 365 days days into hours hours into seconds then you hit all of it on the calculator and the answer that you'll be getting is this one. Uh, in the sun, energy is transferred from an energy store. Which energy is being released and what is the name of the reaction that releases this energy inside the sun? It, it is not chemical. All right, because chemical energy requires oxygen. To uh, in order to trigger a chemical reaction, you, you need oxygen. There is no oxygen in the outer space. Uh, then it is a nuclear reaction, and the reaction is fusion. All right, fusion reaction. Fusion reaction. It is there used in power station. They ask you in paper one, paper two. In nuclear power plants, we use uh, fusion reaction. All right, uh, then we have the last one. How does frequency of the light when detect detected on Earth compare with its frequency when emitted? In what direction is the galaxy moving? So the frequency of the light as it moves away from Earth is increased. The frequency of the light is increased. So if this is representing the frequency, number of waves per second the frequency appears to be stretched so greater frequency no it has lesser frequency or at the same time it has higher wavelength frequency decreased but wavelength if they ask you in terms of the wavelength wavelength would have been increased and the direction of movement of galaxies i mean for the most part it is always away from the earth it is away from the earth only then the frequency appears to be less only then the fre frequency appears to be stretched so sorry away from earth not towards the earth away from earth 
So A should have been the right answer for this one.